For years, customers have had to deal with this dinky, flimsy cooler. Not adequate. Let's get rid of it. So mods got tired of that. What mods did is created a cooler bracket that is much tougher, stronger, durable, and more practical. And the best feature of it all, fishing pole holders. Our mod brush guard cooler rack holders are designed in two versions. First is the Yeti Rody 24. The other is the Igloo 25 quart Marine. If you have your own cooler, don't worry about it. It's not a problem. We're gonna show you the dimensions for both of these on the screen to see if yours will work. First, let's talk about the hardware pack that is included with either of these two cooler bracket kits. These are primarily included to help you measure the size bolts that you may need. There's so many brush guards out there on the market that we couldn't include exact bolts for every brush guard. So a trip to the hardware store is most likely going to be needed. Today we'll be installing the Yeti cooler bracket on an Evolution D5 as shown here. These carts are one of the most popular carts on the market today and they come with the pre-installed brush guard. These are the tools that you're going to need for this install. First, you're gonna to wanna to mask off the areas that you're gonna drill. This is for protection of the brush guard and you'll be able to mark the holes that you're gonna drill. Then you'll wanna grab your cooler bracket, place it in the correct position and mark your holes. Just a quick note, on the Yeti Rody cooler, you have two extra mounting holes that you'll need to use with the carriage bolts for installation that the Igloo does not. Next, you want to take your punch tool, center it based on your hole template, and you want to give it a, several good whacks. The reason for this is so that it makes it easier to start your drill bit and it won't slip. Now, take your 5 16 drill bit and you're going to start drilling. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. And in this case, you want to make sure you go slow at first and use the adequate amount of pressure so that it doesn't slip. Now that you have all four holes drilled, you'll want to take the smaller of the two bolts that are provided in the hardware pack and use it as a measuring guide. You can see that it doesn't go all the way back. The longer one hits that back bumper. For more complex installs, an easier way is going to be to measure the brush guard width. This one we know is one and three quarters inch. Add a half an inch so that it a nut can get put on the back side. Now that you have an idea and the measurements of the hardware you're going to use, the fun part, heading over to the hardware store. While you're there, make sure that these two bottom bolts here are carriage bolts. The reason for that is that they have smooth rounded head. They won't block your cooler from being able to sit snug inside. Another tip for you while you're at the hardware store, a couple of extra things that might come in handy include a can of paint, to match the finish on your brush guard, some rubber washers to give the install that perfect finish. A more complex install is the Evolution brush guard. There's two ways to install the two top bolts. You can drill at an angle, which trust me is extremely difficult to do, or you can opt like we did and went with the one inch self-threading, self-tapping screw. It's three eight inch thick. Right in there, drill it out in, it'll hold it just fine. Now that you have all your hardware, go ahead and install all of them. Go ahead and tighten everything down, polish, rub, make everything look good so you can present it to the world because you're going to be the hottest item on the street. Bam! You've just installed your mod's cooler rack. If you're interested in this cooler rack, you can find it on our website at golfcartking.com. We'll provide the links for you at the bottom. And remember, at Golf Cart King, we are your one-stop shop for all your golf cart parts and accessories needs. If you have any questions on the install, feel free to leave comments in the section below, or you can call our fantastic customer service team with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.